Hello everybody, this is the tutorial that I'm going to show you how to get your media ready for DVD Studio Pro using Compressor. Now I'm going to work with HD, um, you may be working with SD material, but the process is all the same. So don't freak out because I'm using HD because with YouTube and so, and so on, it's just everything's HD anymore and that's pretty much all I work with. <clears throat> so as you can see, I have a movie brung in here. It's just a video I've done. Okay. So we're going to encode this and get it ready to take into DVD Studio Pro to burn to a DVD. Now, if you go to your settings, there will be about four folders, five folders under the Apple group, four folders. There will be one called DVD. Open that up. Now, this is where all your DVD stuff is. If you're using just a regular standard definition DVD, and you have 120 minutes worth of material, this is what you want. DVD best quality 120 minutes. If you have 150 minutes, then of course you want the 150 minutes. If you only have 90 minutes or, or less, then pick the 90 minutes because, you know, it's going to be a better quality. The more you're trying to fit onto a disc, the uh, lesser of quality it's going to be. Now they have best quality and fastest encode. Now the difference between the 150 minute say best quality and the 150 minute fastest encode, the only difference is the best quality is two pass and the fastest encode is one pass. So that's about the only difference between the two. So just judge how many minutes you're wanting to burn onto the DVD and pick the closest amount, okay? But for me I'm using HD DVD. So I want to go down here and we have an HD DVD H.264 60 minutes, H.264 90 minutes. These are the same thing. It just depends on how many minutes you're going to be using. The 90 minutes will encode it at 6.75 megabits per second and the 60 minutes is 10.3 megabits per second. So you're going to little bit get a little bit more quality out of the 60 minutes but you're not going to get as much on a disc. Okay. And also, you have the HD DVD MPEG-2, and it's even uh, bigger than the H.264. It's like 11 megs a second, or I can't, don't quote, no, it's not 11 megs a second, but it's bigger, as you can see, 30 minutes compared to 60 minutes. And with the MPEG-2, you can actually get better color out of it than you can the H.264. In my opinion, the H.264 looks a little washed out, but you can fix that in post because with the MPEG-2, the edges and artifacts are a lot worse. The grain is a lot worse. The stair-stepping around the edges of, a, of, a, of the person is a lot worse. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll encode with both of them, and I'll let you see the difference. I'm not sure if you can tell it over YouTube, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to pick my... I'm just going to use 90 minutes because I want to encode this fast. As you can see, I'm going to click my audio. I've got a Dolby Digital Professional and an H.264 6.75 megabit second HD. Okay, I'm going to drag them both up here to my movie. Boom. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, my destination is my desktop. I can right click, go to destination, and set it, go to other, and set it for anywhere. I'm just going to use the desktop to make it simple. Now, here's the trick. For in order for DVD Studio Pro to know that these two files go together because you're encoding the audio separate from the video. They're two separate files. They're not included into one file like a QuickTime movie has audio and video in one. We're doing these separate, and for DVD Studio Pro to understand that these files are separate, but they go together, it can pair them together. How does it know to pair them? By the title. And the way you do that, go over to your title and name it. I'm going to name this one 1A. So now we have 1A.ac3. That's our title of our audio. So let's go name our video. We'll call it 1A. Now it's 1A.movie. Notice the capitalization is the same. and Everything is exactly the same except for the extension. One is MOV, one is AC3. This is how DVD Studio Pro will know. It's very, very important. The names have to be exactly the same except for the extension. Okay, so now we have this set up. Let's go down here and grab our HD DVD MPEG and drag it up here to the same one and drop it in and let's change the name of this one to 1B like so and we'll change the bottom one to 1B also 
Now, as you can see, we have a 1A, 1B, 1 is H.264, 1 is MPEG-2, both are HD. Um, 1 is HD MPEG-2, 1 is HD H.264, both digital professional audio, Dolby Digital. So let's go ahead and submit this. It'll send them out to my desktop. It might take a little longer because, as you can see, I'm encoding in the background. My CPUs are up to the max anyway. Let's submit this. My batch monitor will automatically open here. And it's going to go through the line here. One is already done. It's successful, as you can see right here. So I will edit this video out, and um, I will be right back because there's a 10-minute time limit on YouTube now, and I want to save every last second that I can save. So I'll see you guys in a minute. As you can see, we're about done here now, and we're finished. So let's go to our desktop and look. And here we go, right here. Here is our 1A and 1B audio. And here's our 1A and 1B video, H.264 and 1's MPEG. So, let's open up DVD Studio Pro, and I have it set up like this so you all can see what's going on. I ain't taking up the whole screen so I can work down here. Let me move this out of the way so I can get this down here for you. Okay, now we have our video and our audio here. What I'm going to do is put them in a folder. Create a folder because DVD Studio Pro can only import folders. Call it whatever you want. I like to call them DVD Studio Pro assets, but I'm going to leave mine untitled because this is a tutorial. So let's go ahead here. I'll verify what these are. Uh, quick look in it. And it looks like it's throwing it up on the second monitor there. So I'll bring it over. We'll see. OS 10. Okay. Now, let's put these in our folder. Okay, now we have our DVD Studio Pro apps in our folder here. Let's fire up DVD Studio Pro. As you can see, we're in the basic setup. I'm going to go to my video tab, go to my plus. I'm going to go to my desktop and bring in that untitled folder, which, as you can see, has 1A and 1B video and audio. I'm going to add. And there's my video. It automatically paired my audio and video together. Here's 1A and here's 1B. If I take 1A and stick it in here, set it as my background, there we go. I have a completely HD 1280 by 720 DVD ready to be burned. Um, also, I can, here's the second move. There's the MPEG, as you can see, it is a little darker. Let me drop the MPEG, the H264. Are you ready? See how a little more washed out that is? than the MPEG, because the MPEG is a lot bigger too in file size. But, um, if I go here, let's find our movies. And let's open them up with QuickTime. Shrink it down a little bit. And let's open our other one. And we'll shrink it down a little bit. Now if I can zoom in here, I'm going to try and show you the difference between the H.264 and the MPEG. As you can see, the one on the left, which is the H.264, is a little lighter. But if you look real close at the uh, ears on the MPEG, you can see that it's kind of jagged there, right? But with the H.264, you'll see it's not. So you don't get edge artifacting with the H.264, uh, even though the color may be a little more contrasty with the MPEG. So there you go, guys. That's exactly how you get stuff ready for DVD Studio Pro using Compressor. I hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.